guys so welcome to today's video um today i'm just talking about my daughter's diabetes for um type 1 tuesday and some other youtuber parents whose children are diabetic and they do type 1 tuesday and i think that's really great i have to look up some of their names to share with you in future videos so you can go watch them as well because they're really really great they were a great inspiration to me when our daughter was diagnosed and a great comfort and help to know that you know things get better and easier and that's what i hope to be is um that for other parents whose kids were just diagnosed so that they can feel not alone you know so i'm just going to show you guys how we load her um oakley's t-slim pump and that's this t-slim and this is the tubing that comes all out of her pump. And the end of it, oops, is this little thing that clips into what's called her sight. And her sight is kind of like an IV, but not in a vein, just in the fat of your skin. And we put it, you can put it on their legs, their arms, their belly, their back hips. Um, so yeah, so. This just clips in and there's a little needle at the end that lets the insulin out into the plastic tube that's in their fat, that's called a cannula. And then that gets the insulin into their body. So this just clips in and out. It's really easy. When you clip it, you just kind of push it in and it, it snaps in place and then it stays. And when you want to take it off, you just grab the sides here and the front of the site and you just squish this down and pull it out it comes right out so it's like really easy then we also have this um belt it's called a spy belt like spi belt and it's made for kids with type 1 diabetes um for their tubing so it looks just like kind of like a little um those little knapsacks like around your, your belly. I can't remember what they're called right now, but um, these are a lot more expensive than that. They're really small. Um, I have to hand wash them. I've had it for her since she's been diagnosed. So as you see right here, it has a little opening that's made just for the pump tubing. So you take like the end of this and you put it into um, end this like little hole okay so then when it comes out you can store the pump and a lot of the excess tubing in here and zip it up and it's clipped around her waist to kind of contain everything and hold everything but this part is like hanging out and it's like clipped in their site so it's a lot it makes things <laughs> much easier so we have three of them and they're like 20 dollars each so we have we just spent how to spend like 60 dollars for all three of her belts but they do come in really cute designs and stuff and i hand wash them so they don't get wrecked by the machine because i did it with the machine once and i realized how rough it was on them so i wash them by hand to make them last longer so this is the old one that she's been wearing for about six days um that's about how many times i have to change the insulin the cartridge in her pump with her insulin it's every six days so when I change the insulin in her pump, I also change her belt so she gets a nice fresh one. So this is, that was her old one. This is her nice, uh, clean, fresh one that she's going to be wearing for the next six days. Okay. Okay, so to fill this new, it's called reservoir in the pump with the insulin, because her pump is empty right now. She's used all the insulin. So we have to put a new reservoir. So I get her insulin. This is Novolog insulin. Set her down. And I gotta get some things ready. So I have to use this um, syringe. It is a three millimeter syringe. So we have, we have bunches of these. So I have the syringe you see just has no needle or anything on it yet. So this is the needle that goes on top of the syringe so you can get the insulin out. You just open the package. And then 
to just twist it on, make sure it's tight but not too tight. And I am cap it. And then I just kind of prime it like that so it goes smooth. So when I'm drawing the insulin out, it's uh, smooth. So it actually works the best. And then before I get the insulin out, here's the new reservoir for the pump. Cartridge reservoir, it's also a three millimeter. The tea slim if I can open it. <laughs> These are usually pretty easy to open, which is great. Let me see, this is the new fresh one. So I pull that out so once I get enough insulin, I can just in the syringe, I can just put it in the reservoir right away. Okay, I have this. So how do you get insulin out? So you get air, and I do what's called 110 units. That lasts for six days because of how little and young she is. So that's 110 units of insulin. And it's kind of hard to see. Well, anyway, um, that's 110 units of insulin. And like one unit is like a drop, a tiny little drop. So then you push the air in, it makes all those bubbles. And that makes it so you can draw the insulin out of the bottle. And then you just draw it back out to the 110 units. And then you've got all these air bubbles in here. So then I just use this little cabinet. It's to do your nails. Um, and I use it to tap out all the air bubbles. So they go to the top of the syringe and then you push them back in until you don't see any more bubbles in the syringe or coming out when you push it. And I still see some so I just okay and then no more came out. I don't see any more so then of course you have to draw more insulin in and at that point if you see more bubbles you just kind of tap it get the bubbles to pop and push it in and you just keep doing that push the bubbles in there and then redrawing the amount of insulin you need once you have it turn it back this way pull it out and then you have your insulin then take the reservoir and there's this little white bolt dot right there that you insert here needle into and then you push the insulin in it fills this whole reservoir cartridge with that amount of insulin. So now this is filled with insulin and then after I'm done with it I cap the needle right away so I don't stab myself and no one else gets stabbed with needles on accident around here. Okay so once it's Filled, you gotta get the old reservoir out. As you see it's still in there, the tubing. When we changed the reservoir, we changed the tubing, the bell, everything. So it's all sterile for her. So then you turn it on, one, two, three, to unlock it. It's asking if you wanna resume the insulin because I have it turned off so it's not pumping out anything. There's no insulin anyway, but so it's not pumping out anything. Um, so I go to options and hit load. And then you go to change cartridge and then you hit the button like saying make sure it's disconnected and then you get to this screen and now it's saying take out the old cartridge and put the new one in so then i just use this thing you can use a penny it comes with a little thing but it just like it snaps in there so then you push it and it just kind of pops it out like that and then you pull it out okay and then i grab the new one that actually has insulin put it in and then snap it in until it snaps like that so you know it's in then take this that has her sights in it this one's already open because we already changed her site we have to change her site every three days normally you change uh the reservoir every three days too once they're older and then use it up but right now she's so little she uses the reservoir every six days instead of every three but we still need to change her site every three days so we go through a lot more science than we do tubing so we always have extra tubing so that one was kind of open already but 
And it's fresh, clean tubing in here. So then you take this end and you just twist it to this end. Again, you do it tight, but not too tight. Okay. And then this end, when you get a fresh one out, you see it has a little cap on it, a little lid. And I keep that on until I put it through the clean spy belt. It's a new clean one that we're using. And that way, when you push it through, the little Sharpie ends don't snag on there. It just goes right through, fits in. Then you just, kind of like with the side, you just squeeze the sides and then pull off the cap comes right off, super easy, there you go. And then you have to do something called priming the tubing. So the reason you have to do this is so when you tell the pump to give her insulin, it'll actually give her insulin. Um, it takes about between 10 to 12 units of insulin to fill all this tubing. Um, so if I tell, her, tell it to give her like three units of insulin, It'll pump three units into the tube and then none got into her body. And it'll take forever till she finally gets insulin into her body if you don't prime it. So that's why it's important to prime it. And when we change her site, we also have to prime the tube that's inside of her, they call the cannula. But that's like 0.5 units. So if we forget that, it's not near as big of a deal, it's so small. But this one is a very big deal. So after I put the reservoir in, new fresh tubing on, new fresh clean belts. I just take an old pack, the old package and hold this over and I'm gonna prime the tubing with insulin to fill it, fill it all up with insulin. So when the pump gives her insulin, it actually goes into her body. So then you hit this unlock button. It says this is a cartridge installed, so I hit yes. And now it's thinking. It's like, it says detecting cartridge, just detecting the new one. Now saying it's 40%, takes a minute. Now it's at 78%, take just another minute. Okay, now it says 100%. So it says cartridge changed. Okay, so I just hit okay. Now I hit start filling tubing. So now I'm starting to fill the tube. And I just hold it here until I see drops come out of the end. And then I hit stop right when I see a little drop form. Like, then I'll hit stop. And then I know the whole tubing has insulin. So this takes a minute. It's at five units right now. So it needs another like five to seven units in here. Five to eight. And it does feel pretty fast, but it does take, take a minute. So now it's at eight units. Okay, now it's at nine. So now when it gets close to 10, I start watching the needle at the end of here. So as soon as I see insulin, I'll hit stop. So it goes in the container because the smell of insulin isn't like really great smell. It smells very much like, you know, medical, like hospital. Doesn't smell good. Let's just tap it off because we're not a fan of the smell getting on anything. So now it says, do you see the drops at the end? If no, fill again. If yes, hit done. So I saw it. Hit done. It took 12 units this time. And then it has check marks, like if I change cartridge, fill tubing, if I hit the okay check mark. Now it wants to resume insulin, but I'm saying no, not right now, because I gotta hook it up to her before I resume the, the pump. But now it's all done. The insulin is done. <laughs> so now I just gotta kinda clean up my mess a little bit. So we use this as our sharps container. In Idaho, where we live, the law says you could have a container like this. You don't have to buy the specific shark containers, which you can get like at Walmart, pretty easy, um, or on Amazon or whatever. But they said if it's like a plastic container like this that has a lid, 
um, that encloses everything. You can use it even if it's clear. So we just use old like pop bottles like this because it works really well. So, and it's just to hold the needles. You don't need to throw everything in here, just the needles. So this, because there's a needle at the end of the old one, I put it in here and I just untwist it there and I just have to put all the tubing in there. And this I can just throw in the garbage because there's no needles, I can just throw it away in the garbage. So then all this tubing has to go in here. Okay. And then um, this needle, I just twist off and the needle goes in there and the syringe can go in the garbage. Just the regular garbage can. Okay. And then when I change her um, insulin pump to, I usually will change her needle and her finger poker so it's a fresh one and I'll make sure she has enough test strips. But she didn't, so I threw the old ones away. So now this is a new box of all of her um, test strips. It's a one touch vario. We used to have the freestyle light, which I loved, but our insurance decided to go with this route because it's a little cheaper for them. So this is what we do. So this is a fresh bottle of her test strips. There's a whole bunch in there. So I just put it in her little container with her tester. And then to change, um, the needle, I forgot to grab the needle, so let me go get that needle. Okay, so I got the needles. This is a box, box of lancets. They're called lancets, not needles, but no, lancets. <coughs> I just say needles, because um, if you're not a diabetic, you don't know all the terminology for everything. So this is a lancet, and it's in the finger poker. So this is her favorite one. And it's a microlet next, but these freestyle lancets work in here as well. So you just twist that till you hear it click, pop the lid off, and then you take the old needle and you put it in Sharp's container because it's a needle. And you put the fresh one in here, push it down, it clicks. You see, it has like this. Thing on here so you don't get stabbed when loading it. So you just have to kind of twist it off and then that can go in the garbage. <coughs> Sorry, I'm like really thirsty. Let me take a drink. I'm really thirsty. <sighs> so you put the lid on and then you twist it back the other way until it clicks. And then because you put that needle in, if you push this button, it will stab people. So I just push it so it it goes off. So next time we go to use it, we don't actually stab ourselves with it. And the way you just redo it, you pull that down, push that tight, use it. It's really easy. So I just put everything in here. It's all fresh and good to go. And now, like every diabetic, a parent knows a diabetic. There's like a bunch of garbage I have to throw away. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna put her insulin back into the fridge. I'm gonna put those extra lancets away and the sharps container away and throw all this packaging away, all the garbage away. And I'm gonna hand wash her belt that she was wearing. Um, whenever we change it, we always wash it right away and then hang it up to dry. It's dry really soon, like in 8 to 12 hours really sometimes even less than that um just depends on how warm it is in our apartment but um i just hand wash it and then hang it up to dry and i do it right away um because if i don't then we run out because we only have three because they are kind of pricey um so and with her because she is like five and when she was first diagnosed like she had just been potty trained, and when she has high blood sugar, she can't always control her bladder. Sometimes she has an accident. So when I change this, I wash it right away, hang it up to dry, because she's wearing one, and then I only have one other one that's clean and dry and ready to go. And there have been times where 
she'll have an accident or like throw up or something will happen and this will get really gross and or food all over it or something we have to wash it and so then if we've washed this one right away and then she has like an accident later on that day or that night or the next day or something then I have to wash that one and hang it up to dry. She has the one extra fresh one that I've already put on her. Obviously, if I take this off and wash it. But by the time I wash this one and hang it up to dry, the other one's already drying. So she already has another one that's ready to go. So I find three works really well. We don't really need more than three. And if we wash them immediately, we never run into the problem of running out. So we just don't. And they really do dry very quickly, so they're really nice, um, kind of like athletic material. So they're very stretchy, uh, the straps adjust, um, just got a clip that cares, so you wear it, it's normal, but it just makes life with a pump easier. So I'd recommend if your child was just recently diagnosed and they have a pump not the Omnipod pump. She's too young for the Omnipod pump. Her doctor said that one doesn't give small enough doses, so that's why we're using the one with the tubing. Otherwise, I would have gone for the Omnipod that has no tubing. Um, but because she's so young, she has to use the other one right now. So I recommend if you have to use a pump with tubing, get a spy belt. Get several of them, at least three or more, um, because they make your life way easier another thing that makes your life way easier um we'll talk because i'm we're going to make another video here soon changing her sight because i think it's changed and she says she's okay with with making that video um we're going to talk about something called adhesive remover and we'll talk just a little bit about that in the video because it is very important we weren't really told about it when she was diagnosed and i guess i'll tell you that story when i make that video but it's important, okay? You need some adhesive remover if your child was just diagnosed um, with type 1 diabetes. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, for this clip, anyway. <laughs> All of these clips are going to go into one video for Type 1 Tuesday. Um, so, which I'll post, obviously, on Tuesday. So, um, yeah, it's good seeing you guys. I'll see you in the next clip.